man, I can't put my finger on it, but there's just something magical about Saturdays. And that's why this Saturday, we're going to be creating the genie from Aladdin. So, as always, you're going to need your pencil, your black line marker, and then today, for colors, you're going to use blue, yellow, and red. All right, guys, get your three wishes ready. Here we go. So we're going to be focusing on his face and his facial expression, and that's going to take up the middle of our paper. We're going to start by creating the top of his head. In order to do that, I'm going to pull up a oval shape. I'm going to build that up by putting two lines side by side and rounding the top together, and rounding the bottom together being very sketchy with my lines, don't have to do them perfectly, and I build my shape up until I like it and it's just how I want it. When I have the oval that I want, I can get rid of the lines that I don't want and work off of that kind of shape. So this is a good oval for me to use right now. Now with my oval shape, this is going to be the top of the genie's head. This is going to hold his nose and his eyes. To create his eyes, I'm going to come in from both sides. They're not going to touch the sides. And I'm going to make an oval shape again. But it's going to be kind of pointed at the top, just a little bit. When I do it to one side, I'm going to put some space in between and then do the same thing on the other side. Kind of point at the top, but really just oval shapes. If you want to think of an X point, you can do that too. Now remember, this is the top of his head, and we've left some space in between these two eye shapes for a nose. We're going to create another shape very similar to this, but we're going to make it upside down. So that pointy side is going to be down towards the bottom. And it's going to overlap one of our eyes. So feel yourself kind of going over one eye, coming down, creating that point upside down, and coming back up. Only difference is we're going to keep that shape open. We're not going to close it off. But you should feel like you overlapped over one eye and a little bit over your original circle shape. Great job, guys. Now for the next part, we're going to create some cheeks. For these cheeks, I'm going to come down to the bottom of my eye and then I'm going to make a little hook curve shape coming off the sides under my eyes. I think of this as a C shape or just a curve, but this is going to give me some cheeks in a little while. Now as far out as your cheek curve goes here, we're going to come down and we're going to make the bottom of his face, which is going to have his jaw. And his jaw is going to be at the bottom about as wide as his cheeks. And we're going to think about how much space we use at the top, from the beginning of that oval to the bottom. And we're going to kind of bring that down. That's about how big the bottom of our face is going to be. Maybe a little bit shorter. Now, remember I said it's going to start under on the side of the cheek, but then kind of come out on the sides? Like a trapezoid shape, sort of. Then we're going to round those two sides, the 
edge of the both sides into the middle of the shape. This is going to give us room for our mouth area. Okay? We have our cheeks and our lower mouth area. Next thing we're going to do is create our mouth. In order to do that, we're going to start by making some smile lines. Our smile lines are going to be on the side of our nose, almost up in that circle area. We're just going to make two lines and it can go from the bottom of the cheek over to the nose. Smile lines are lines that happen under our cheeks when we smile. So then from those two smile lines, and so we don't get confused, I'm going to erase my initial circle or oval lines here that I don't need anymore. I don't need where it connects to the cheeks, I don't need where it's under the nose. We want our head to be kind of one big shape that we built out now. So I'm going to make my first part of my mouth, I'm going to go from my smile line, I'm going to go down to the bottom of my nose, around to the other side. Making sure that it never touches the bottom of your nose. If you want to redraw your nose so it overlaps that line a little bit, you can. So I'm going to put my nose so it just goes a little bit over that line. Now that's a top smile. The bottom of our smile, and to make our mouth look open, we're going to go back up to that smile line. We're going to go down. We're going to trace the shape of the bottom of our head. So we'll trace kind of the outside, the bottom of our head. And then that gives us our open mouth. Now that our mouth is open, we're going to add some details. First is going to be our upper row of teeth. Just be a curved line going from one side of the mouth to the other. The next line we create will be to give us a bottom row of teeth and kind of the open part of our mouth. And to show us open, we're going to make two curves together for our tongue. Guys, see the genie's face coming together? I see it. Let's give him some pupils. Pupils are little dots in the middle of his eyes. I'm going to keep them pretty close to the middle. A little bit above my nose. Yeah, I can see that face coming together. All right. Now, he's going to need some ears so that he can hear people's wishes, right? So starting at the top of the eye, I'm going to come out at an angle, curve down, and make a lower earlobe, and come back under my cheek. Let's try that on the other side. From the top of my eye, I'm going to go out at an angle, curve down, down, and curve out, come back under my cheek. Pretty cool, right? All right. Couple more things. We're gonna get into his hair. That's right. We've got to make his top hair. We've got to make his eyebrows, and we've got to make his beard. We'll start with his top hair. The very, very top of his head. I'm going to make a very small square shape, and then off of that to create his ponytail. I'm going to go up, kind of curve to a side, making a wavy line. Once I have that wavy line, I'm going to double up on it. So I'm going to go to the top of it, and I'm going to trace it, make it kind of full, so I come back down to the top 
of that square. Now I've got some hair on top. I want to give him some eyebrows. His eyebrows are going to start at the top of the sides of his head, and they're going to curve on each side of the head. Notice I'm going back and forth over and over and over, building up the thickness of the line that makes them so that they stand out. Next, in order to make our beard, we're going to go down to the bottom of our face and we're going to add really thin line across the bottom of the jaw. really thin space. But at the bottom of it, we're going to put a triangle upside down. And then we're going to build off to the side and make a little spiral. Now when I take this whole shape, that little line, my triangle and that spiral, I put them together, and darken them in, it's going to create our character's beard. And we're going to go right up to that smile line. I'm going to make a line. Let's go all the way down to the top of the smile line to the beard. Pretty cool, right? So, for one last detail, or a couple last details, I should say, I'm going to put a line in each of my ears. And now I'm going to ink it. When I ink, I'm going to be certain that all my hair gets colored in really good, dark and black. Whether it be my ponytail or my eyebrows. I built up with lines, a thicker line, but now I kind of trace them in as a shape. And then fill them in. Fill in the middle dots of my pupils. Those are going to be black. I'm going to fill in the background of my mouth. So everything except for my tongue and teeth in my mouth will be black. And last but not least, I'm going to go over the bottom of my beard. Curl that little triangle, this thin line area, to make sure get in there and make that as dark as I can. Now all my hair areas are blacked out. All my details are put in. And I put my lines, my nose overlapping. lines in here. No, those are the teeth. Awesome. I've got a genie face. All right, let's give it some color. There you have it. We have our awesome genie head. Let's go ahead and sign it.
All right, guys, we're done with our genie. If you would like, you can always add a background or other characters, or maybe you just want to try to give the genie some different expressions. He's a very expressive character, and it's really fun to work with moving his eyebrows and his mouth. I'd love to see what you guys come up with. If I had one wish for you this weekend, it would be that you have an amazing time, that you're kind and creative, and you enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you next week for more art classes. Bye-bye.